All went viral on video, an incident that happened August 30th, right here at Lancaster High School, involving, as you mentioned, that school resource officer and a 16-year-old student. Obviously, in the video, it shows a violent altercation because of the fact that, according to law enforcement, that that student was resisting detention. But clearly, there's two sides to the story. And so this story is about this little girl, little son teen, out here in um LA County and we've seen this throughout the years these young ladies they buck up on these resource officers these officers that are doing their job making sure that the kids are safe if a mass shooter comes in they're the first line of defense if uh you know, gangs come to try to harm somebody in the first line of fence. But this little girl wanted to fight this grown man. And now we have this. To the story, and today we have some activists, concerned parents, as well as students out here to talk about what they see on campus and what needs to be done about this. Let me bring in the sophomore, Jared Ward, who could tell us a little bit about the climate here on campus. You see there's fights all the time, even students with weapons here. How safe do you feel, and what do you think is the solution? Honestly, I feel pretty safe because I play basketball most of the time, so I'm away from everybody. I'm in my own little group. But, I mean, like metal detectors, like we were talking about before, so like check the bags and stuff to make sure there ain't no guns or like knives or anything like that. A lot of so you have a school where you have metal detectors. A lot of fights. Students are bringing guns to school. And I guarantee you they're going to be talking about get rid of this, get rid of the police out of this school. Because... Some little son teen queen, a teen queen, wanted to fight with a grown man, a grown police officer, because she didn't want to go to detention, which is going to put everybody in this school in danger. Sound familiar? A lot of people here are calling for kind of the defunding of school safety officers and more resources put in another direction, preventative measures. Do you feel safer with security on campus or what do you think? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it doesn't really change me. Like I said, I'm in my the area most of the time. So, not really. No. He's only thinking about himself. And also, he's surrounded by wokesters. And he knows if he says the wrong thing, this is going to be on news. He's going to be deemed a racist if he says, no, I feel safe with the cops there. Even though the school's overrun with gangs, kids are bringing weapons to school, and there's always a bunch of fights. And the last fight they're talking about was between a little son teen queen and a police officer. Imagine what she'd do to another little girl in that school. But he, this kid's smart. He's prudent. He can't say what he really feels. I know this kid right here. They got them little sun gangs out there. This kid is like, yo, oh my God, please don't get rid of the police. This kid right here, howdy doody, Napoleon Dynamite. Come on, man. Do you think there should be security on campus or do you feel like it should be redirected? I feel security should be on campus, but security shouldn't be allowed to do that or sheriffs. They should just be trained more to not do that, especially to a young girl, a 16-year-old girl who's a minor and a female. Yeah, training is... It's not right to do that. Tra Can't one of you annoyed when everybody talks about training, police training? They don't know what the heck police training. They talk about training and you're in a fight you're coming to walk a little girl to to detention, and she starts swinging on you. Clobbering you. And you trying to restrain her, and she just won't stop. 
And she's all wiggly and wiry. And you know how it is trying to detain a girl. And it just looks bad. You're just going to look bad. And they're talking about his training. Hate when they do that. They don't even know the first thing about training. What police training is. Police training is make it home. I feel security should be on campus, but security shouldn't be allowed to do that. Or sheriffs, they should just be trained more to not do that. Especially to a young girl, a 16-year-old girl who's a minor and a female. Yeah, training is... It's not right to do that. Training is a big concern here. And let me bring in Ayendi, who could tell us a little bit about your message here. Obviously, you don't want security officers. You want more preventative measures. Yeah, um, I think that the, the main thing is that the sheriff's department doesn't have to be on campus. So there is going to be times and instances where security will be necessary. But what we're saying is that for a contract that, that exceeds over one and a half million dollars to be allocated towards uh, a school and where those funds can be redirected in ways that are preventative rather than reactionary, um, that can create a much safer environment for students as they come and leave campuses. And, and that those treatments should be looking more like how our security looks in our homes, how um, it can be led by love, how it can be led by respect, how it can be led by um, sound leadership, um, instead of having officers who must leave with a badge or a gun or that sort of threatening authoritative figure um, that they, they know no familiarity with outside of the policing systems or jail. Very intelligent brother. What a waste of a good brain, man. God, that's a waste of a good brain. You can tell he's a very, very intelligent brother, man. Very smart. He, no arms. He completed all his thoughts. Whether I agree with his thoughts or not, he completed them. He was thoughtful whether I disagree with his thoughts or not. He brought it full circle. Very, very, very intelligent brother. I mean, he connected all his dots. What a waste of a good brain. <laughs> God, dog. They're wasting. They're wasting our youth's brains, man. This kid could be anything he wanted to be, and he's going to go be an activist, man, and get killed by some sun man in some city somewhere. <laughs> like the dozen or so activists I cover every <laughs> six months on this channel. <laughs> wow. Hate the fact that they take this is they're taking kids that got full of potential, man, and just feeding them this garbage, man. Pure, unadulterated garbage. Yeah, um, I think that the, the main thing is that the sheriff's department doesn't have to be on campus. So there is going to be times and instances where security will be necessary. But what we're saying is that for a contract that, that exceeds over one and a half million dollars to be allocated towards uh, a school and where those funds can be redirected in ways that are preventative rather than reactionary, um, that can create a much safer environment for students as they come and leave campuses. And, and that those treatments should be looking more like how our security looks in our homes, how um, it can be led by love, how it can be led by respect, how it can be led by um, sound leadership um, instead of having officers who must leave with a badge or a gun or that sort of threatening authoritative figure um, that they, they know no familiarity with outside of the policing systems or jail. Obviously very disturbing to see that video and the incident playing out here on August 30th and obviously the Sheriff's Department does know about that video. They're looking into what exactly happened here, Michaela, and obviously they say they're looking into the policing and the policy put in place, the protocol in terms of dealing with a situation like that and they're going to review their policy, Michaela from the parents themselves, right? So they can actually hear, you know, parents have concerns about their kids and what's happening with them. And even the ones that might be having some issues, they wanna make sure that those needs are being met. Um, so hopefully there'll be some conversation and, and some substantive change here uh, that both parties will feel uh, happy with. Uh, Sandra, thanks for shining a light on this for us today. Lancaster High students join a loud rally after school protesting the treatment of 16-year-old Michaela Robinson by a school resource deputy. Now, listen, man. 
she look like she ain't playing. She look like she fight every day. That 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 look on her face, I know that look. She's a tough little bad girl, man. She may have issues at home. She may be acting out. Maybe just the environment she grew up in. Maybe her. And they just be the way she is. But I know that look. That's a hard look. That's not somebody. She's not even trying to look tender and like dainty. And oh, I've been assaulted. She like. Even after all this. She ain't got enough sense to be like. I'm the bitch. She come out. Man. Join a loud rally after school protesting the treatment of 16-year-old Michaela Robinson by a school resource deputy. The video was shot by one of several students who witnessed the incident on August 30th when the officer tried to stop Michaela after a verbal exchange. Now you can go online and see this. The girl was fighting with this cop so hard. And he was trying to restrain her, and she was fighting and pulling away so hard that they both fell to the ground. As soon as they hit the ground, did she go? Oh. She keeps fighting and fighting and fighting. And he's just holding her, trying to restrain her. Now this guy's going to be deemed a racist. <laughs> He's in this school with all these gang members and all these street urchins and all these feral teens shooting each other and beating each other's brains in every day. And now he's going to be deemed a racist. He's probably going to lose his job. This is so unfair, man. Go watch the tape. Go watch the video online. This is so unfair, man. This this is terrible, man. This is the type of thing that'll make you hate the whole wokey woke mob all over again. She just asked a simple question, like, why don't you like me to one of the security guards? She says that all she did was walk up to the school resource officer and say, you know, why are you looking at me like that? Lisa Bloom is representing the team's family. There was allegedly some foul language used. My client insists she didn't use any foul language. It was her friend. At any rate, the foul language was not a threat. I ain't do nothing. It was my friend. <laughs> oh, Lord. They're entertaining this stuff. This is why woke people are so racist. They entertain sun people's foolishness. All of it. I was microaggressed. I was sitting next to some uh, a white person and they crossed their legs up away from me. And... I think the whole school's racist, and here come the wokes. We need to have sensitivity training in a in a town hall. It's like, oh my god, they entertain all this crap, and they think that they don't think. That, let me say, it's we're past. They think they're helping. They're just evil people, man. Spawns, Satan spawns. They tried to stop her to talk to her. Yeah, but then they like made it more aggressive and made it more worse than it already seemed like it was. L.A. County sheriffs describe what you see as a school resource deputy attempting to detain a juvenile in relation to a, quote, criminal complaint and the officer using force to take her into custody. They are investigating the incident, which went viral on social media after the activist who organized today's rally posted it online. We've been calling for the cancellation of SROs on campuses, of getting out uh, security resource officers, sheriffs specifically off of school campuses. <laughs> Sean, Sean, Colin, King, King for Nick. Sean, Colin, King for Nick.
the heck is this guy, man? And as soon as it's a bad shoot, they were like, why wasn't it? Uh, our school, if it was the white school, they would have had a, somebody there. <laughs> why they don't have nobody there with the, the, our schools? With, with the... <laughs> These people, people aggravate, man. God, they're irritating, man. We've been calling for the cancellation of SROs on campuses, of getting out uh, security resource officers, sheriffs specifically, off of school campuses. Michaela's mother, Nish Robinson, says she found out what happened only after she could not find her daughter after school that day when the 16-year-old was taken to Juvenile Hall. And many a parent here tells us they are concerned because they didn't know about the incident until we showed them the video. As a parent, it's concerning, but, you know, I really don't know the situation. You see the Umbrito? <laughs> Oh, Brito, like, I don't know the situation. She knows. She knows. <laughs> oh, Brito knows. She know how, how some people are. She like, man, I ain't riding with y'all. <laughs> I ain't riding with y'all on this one, man. Oh, Br Ms. Oh, Brito know that, man. Look at it. She ain't, she like, yeah, I don't know the situation. She live around these son people. She know that that girl did something. She know that they always playing the victim. Salute to you, Miss Oh, Brito. So we showed them the video. As a parent, it's concerning, but, you know, I really don't know the situation. And I saw the video. What do you think? That's, that's not good. From Michaela and her mom, only this. I just want to say thank you. Thank you all for everybody, for everybody that came today. Both L.A. County Sheriff and the Antelope Valley School District saying in statements they are investigating the incident. In Lancaster, I'm Christina Gonzalez, Fox 11 News.